Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And let's take a look at our third down and long situations from Sunday versus the Texans. We did not fare very well in that situation. And that's the reason I wanted to take a look at it and see what ways we can improve. Because in order to be a team that gets to where we want to go, i.e. deep in the playoffs slash Super Bowl, we got to be able to convert on third and longs. The ideal thing would be to do not getting third and long. But if it's inevitable to get there and you got to have a plan to get yourself some first downs when you get in third and long. Do you have to convert at a high clip like 70, 80, 90 percent? No, you do not. But you don't want to be around 25, 20, 15 percent. So uh, take a look at our third down conversions from Sunday and we'll see where we at and how we did. Roll the intro. Okay, on this first third and long, it's third and 10 in the second quarter. It's 13, 24 left. Let's take a look at what we got. Third and 10. And remember, everything over third and eight is what I consider third and long. Got all those guys up in the box. Like, where's the adjustment? Where's the quick route? Like, the line didn't even move. You know, I thought this was a penalty, but it wasn't. This was just a straight-up cluster, you know what. We got, what, how many? Pretty much everybody at the line of scrimmage, seven people. And we only got seven in the box. When you count the five offensive linemen, Justice Hill and Lamar. So somebody's going to be free. The ball got to come out quick. The ball has to come out quick. Somebody's going to be free. But in this case, both ends are wide open. I don't know why Moses doesn't fan out. I'm not sure. Like, something's terribly wrong on this. Look at John Simpson. John Simpson allows the guy to come A-gap. He sticks his hand out there. But Tyler Lindebaum's going another way. So there's some kind of horrible communication or miscommunication. And 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 um, Hill tries to, just as Hill tries to get a piece of the linebacker, but, I mean, he don't get much on him. But again, look at the two edge guys. Look at Jalen Petrie and whoever 55 years. Untouched. Untouched. Now, granted, one of them going to be untouched. Probably two of them because the guy that's over number five, he drops out. So really, should nobody be untouched? Did I number them right? One, two, three, four, five. That's seven. And we got seven in the box. Number five drops out. So we should be able to pick it up. We should be able to pick it up. Let's see. Let's see what we sh what should be happening. You got Simpson there, Justice there. So this is what we got. We got basically these these two. Yeah, we got enough to pick this up. This should have been picked up. Because that, with them dropping this guy out, we got enough to block this without the quarterback having to get rid of the ball. This should have been picked up. Slide one way or the other, or however you do it, or point your man out, however you do it, but communicate. Like, the thing is, when when when... When you get stuff like this up front, who gives a shit if they know who blocking? Point it out and pick it up. Point it out and pick it up. Like when it, when there's confusion, they're trying to do stuff like this, point it out, pick it up. And if somebody drop, drop out of there, go find work. Like number five dropped out of there, go find work. Like I don't know why Linda Bum looked way over there when five dropped out when you just a guy right in your A-gap. So it's a communication issue right here. And both ends come free. And then all the routes were down the field, so there was nothing quick. There was nothing quick. So that's over one. Now we got a third and nine on the 44 yard line with 226 left in the second quarter. Getting that same tight look. The same stuff the Dolphins did to us, what, but three years ago with Flores? You getting that same look? Again, now this time, this time, Lamar's ready to throw. Lamar's ready to throw. So my thing is, with Odell, I don't know. Maybe it was some kind of miscommunication. But if he break that thing off right there, he might still be running. Because Lamar's ready to throw at well, not ready yet. But I'm gonna show you where he's ready to throw. Lamar's ready to throw right now. So if if can you see the the DB breaking up because he see Lamar ready to throw the only person not ready to do anything is is Odell. 
Now, I don't know if they just missed the signal or he missed the audible or what. But, hey, he been breaking that slant off right there. That man still be running. Still be running. But, again, miscommunication. That's all it is. Just lack of communication. Because that there out route for 10 yards. And I, and I understand you you trying to get to the line. You're trying to get to the first down marker. But you just got to trust that the guy's going to break tackles. You got to trust that they can make somebody miss. I'd rather have a completed ball and they get stopped on fourth and one, and you know it's fourth and one than to be incomplete like this. And number two is going to bail out there with likely, so he's not coming. So you still get seven coming. And when you got seven coming, somebody's going to be free because you only got seven guys back there. It's just it's a numbers game. So we over two. 39, fourth quarter, 12 minutes, 55 seconds left. You got trips right. You're still getting that same look. Look at all the guys at the line of scrimmage. Gets they over here in motion. They don't move. So that kind of gives you an indication that they're trying to play a little bit of zone, which they do drop out. A lot of them drop out, and we hit the screen. Unfortunately, this is the play um, Ronnie gets hurt on, gets hurt on, but we hit the screen on this. It's a good job of uh, Zay Flowers, you know, working between his blocks and whatnot and just doing a little something different. But this was a, this versus a – this was against zone coverage, not necessarily versus the man that they've been they've been doing. But this is a, a you know something you figured out. That motion gave you an idea that it was on because nobody ran with him, and you hit it just right. Got Ronnie out there. Got Linda Bum out there. Unfortunately, you know Ronnie got rolled up on by number six, which is Perryman. But hey, we won for three now. We just we got to be better at third and long. We won for three so far. Thirty three percent. And third and longs are tough. They are tough. They extremely tough. But to be to get where we want to go, we got to be better at them. What's this one? This is third and ten from the forty-three yard line. Third and ten from the forty-three yard line in the fourth quarter. So like three plays later, after we got that first down. Yeah, a soft zone look. Give you a real soft long zone look. They drop in what seven. Rushing four, dropping seven, rushing four, giving you a nice soft zone look. Like, nobody's open. Nobody's open. I mean, this would be a tough throw if you want to try to fit it in this box right here. That's 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 a tough, tough, tough throw. Make this box a little smaller. A circle, rather. If you want to try to fit this in here, maybe. But that's tough. That's, that's a tight throw, especially with, with this guy sitting sitting right here. Especially with that guy sitting right there. That's a tough window. But still, the protection's starting to break down. Look look what's going on back here. Look what's going on back here. Protection breaking down. Will Anderson is beating Morgan Moses. As a matter of fact, Morgan Moses got a holding call on this. And they ended up declining. And if not mistaken, this is Will Anderson's first sack. Will's here from the, from the backside. We just We got to be better on third down. So this, this puts us at one out of four on third and longs. That's 25%. Got to be able to convert a little bit more than that. First of all, you don't want to get in these situations, first of all. But then once you get in them, good teams got to convert in them. Playoff teams, Super Bowl caliber teams, they convert these. Not all of them, but more than 25, 20%. And this is the last one right here. Third and 15 after we had just threw some kind of screen to – um like a little bubble screen to Zay. We come back and now try to run a tunnel screen to him. Try to run a tunnel screen to him. Now, what I will say on this, if he gets a good ball, if he has a good ball, but he doesn't have to bag up like that and turn around, I think he got an alley. If he gets a good ball, nah, wrong, wrong graphic, my bad. If he gets a good ball, I guarantee you he gets it and get up in behind them linebackers. Now, does he score? I don't know, but he don't lose yardage because he ended up losing yardage on this one. If he gets a good ball, he he watch how you have to come back and catch this ball and then turn his back to the play. That's never good on the screen. So now, uh, likely missed the block, so we got to work on likely his blocking. His blocking was not very good this game. Then you got the pursuit coming, so it's really nowhere for him to go. But he did the best thing he could do was get down. All right, so that's our third down clips from Sunday. We were one for five, 20%, which is not good. 
Uh, again, like I said earlier, we got to find a way to convert those things and or not get in those situations. So um, I appreciate you guys for coming through, spending a little time with me today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And remember, the motto is film, then more film, because the film don't lie, unlike some people. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace.